Greetings, brothers and sisters. Um, I got a few more serious things to get to. It's going to go from Brittany to slightly more serious thing. Um, to start off with, I was in contact with a person that uh, wrote to Dodgy, and um, you know, it seems like everything's fine with that. But yeah, again, people are encouraged to make contact with people in the heartfulness system on your own and whatever. And, you know, it's, it's great if you end up saying that you started with me, that's fine. I mean, that's not a problem. I, there are some comments there. The issue is just um, in terms of behaviors and attitudes and, you know, adversarial type of a situation, it's got to be handled in a more refined way because, um, you know, like I said, there's plenty of great preceptors welcoming people and you know, I don't know how it's going to go for each person who starts. It's sort of the luck of the draw. Um, but anyways, I'll come back to that in a day or two and give an update. I just made a long video for them. I'm kind of wiped. So I want to get through this stuff here. Britney Spears wears free Britney t-shirt ahead of court hearing. Here she is. wearing her free Britney. Do the free Britney dance. There you go. Free Britney. Dudes wants to free Britney too. And then it happened. Britney Spears' conservatorship is officially over. Britney is free. <laughs> they freed Britney. <laughs> Lock up your kids. Britney's now on the loose. Britney's free to spend her, whatever's left to her, $60 million fortune. Her dad it hasn't squandered away. Free Britney supporters in Washington Square Park. Dancing and having a good old Free Britney celebration. Here they are. Britney speaks out uh, after conservatorship ends. Best day ever. In the whole ever, it's definitely the best day. The best day of ever. And here they are, the Free Britneyers. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Um, the Free Britneyers are happy because they did it. They came together and they fought off this conspiracy. This is her on Instagram. Um, doesn't say anything here about her being freed. And I don't know if this is from days ago. There she is dancing. See, finally free. Freedom. Britney is free, but I still don't get these videos. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Freeney. She's free and thriving. The only, the one and only, love Brit. Were you, were you in front of a green screen the whole time? <laughs> and so, um, there she is dressed in that outfit. There's no free Britney freedom. So I guess, um, she hasn't put any Usagul posts up about being free. But she's happy. She's free and she's happy. And we'll see how that all works out for everyone. You know what else is free? Alec and Hilaria Baldwin dying in New York amidst Russ shooting lawsuit. So there they are, masked up. Um, somehow he's slow to come down the stairs. She's giving him a hand because he can't walk on his own. And so this is... Um, the sad fate of Alec and Hilaria. Sonny Holston, The View needs a conservative voice, but not the big lies. The View lost its outspoken full-time conservative host, Megan McCain. And when she departed, Holston says, Right now, we still do need a really conservative voice. And I also believe it's really important to not have someone on the panel who spreads misinformation who adheres to the big lies, who is an anti-vaxxer, because I think that's dangerous. It's dangerous. Dangerous, I tells you. You can't have somebody who doesn't read from the corporate Democratic liberal script. Because <laughs> anything else but what she believes is dangerous. They don't want to have any dangerous people 
on the panel of the view because you know if that dangerous person talks on the view of course everyone's going to listen to somebody who talks on the view and it could change the whole world <laughs> because misinformation is something that it, in terms of these uh, celebrity ghouls is anything that they don't believe in and is in Hollywood morality and Hollywood ideology. Biden legacy on the line, the push to build back better. So Jojo Magoo looking sad on MSNBC, they're turning on him, finally addressed the inflation in one of his bogus talks here. Tonight, in the midst of spiking inflation, President Biden aiming to get his economic agenda back on track, insisting that while more spending generally... Look at him count the money. ...drives prices up, his trillion-dollar bipartisan infrastructure bill will bring prices down long-term. We'll see ease, and I say yes, ease, lower inflationary pressures on our economy. Inflation. Come on, bro. <laughs> That's not how the economy works. <laughs> like, everybody knows it. Inflation hitting a 31-year high in October. Prices surging on virtually everything. I don't have enough money to pay for gas every day, so this is crazy. Gas prices soar. Yeah, well, it's going to get crazier. 50% beef price. So because of the petrodollar, gas going up 50%, that's, you know, more accurate indication of inflation. It's not 5%. You know, commodities like gas and gold that are... The petrodollar and the gold-backed dollar, those are more accurate assessments of the true nature of inflation. 50%. Beef prices up 20%. Americans' hourly wages declining 1.2% since... That ain't good. Last year, moderate Democrat Joe Manchin suggesting the president's spending bills could raise prices even more. Republicans blasting the president's policies. Everything costs more because they have the dumbest economic plan in history. Their plan is basically lock down the economy, spend like crazy, pay people not to work. While the economy added half. Sounds like a good plan to me, bro. Half a million jobs last month. A record 4.4 million Americans also quit their jobs in September in the middle. Yeah, those quitters. Quitters never prosper. Winners never quit. Quitters never win. Middle of a worker shortage, including Christine Denman, who left her job as a teacher. The pandemic was a big catalyst for it. I had gotten COVID at the beginning of the school year and did not quitter. Not feel supported by my district. We pre quitter. Quitter. This guy's a quitter. Look at that quitter right there. Best Labor Secretary Marty Walsh. How would you characterize the strength of the recovery given that you have 4.4 million people who quit their jobs? We're living really in unprecedented times. We might not be. Rehab is for quitters. Where we need to be, but we're definitely seeing more people involved in the job market. We're going to have a really strong out. Strong. Yeah, what are you going to do about all these quitters? A few months here moving forward. Kristen, is President Biden still on track to quitter? Sign that infrastructure bill Monday. That's right, Lester, he is. Then he'll turn his attention to that much bigger social spending and climate bill, which, given Senator Manchin's comments, is looking much more difficult to pass. Bunch of quitters. A couple more things to cover here. Um, one of my viewers sent me this. This is from April 2nd, 2018. So it's a little bit old, but it was news anchors looking into the camera and reading a script handed down by a corporate overlord. Words meant to obscure the truth obscurantism, not elucidate, elucidate, elucidate it, isn't journalism. It's propaganda. It's Orwellian. It's a slippery slope to how despots wrest power, silence dissent, and oppress the masses. I think he was talking about anchors that were supporting Trump. <laughs> but now it applies to what's going on today. And so this came back up. The press isn't the enemy, it's the protector. This, this has been circulating. And again, this is from 2018. It's funny how these quotes are now very applicable to what's going on in, um, you know, with the, with the left-leaning media and the Biden administration. So this is all about tyranny and censorship and oppression to do with Trump, right? But now they don't care about it. And they had the audacity to say this. We thank soldiers for their service because they devote themselves to protecting our freedoms. And we should. 
But we should also thank the media for the same reason, especially when the stakes have never been higher. <laughs> and so these clowns want to be thanked for their their propagandized journalistic, you know, fake journalism. And CNN thinks we should thank them for sucking, right? <laughs> Classic CNN. That's so CNN. Okay, that's enough of that. I gotta go fortify my house because Britney Spears is on the loose. Only spirituality will save this world. It's Barabano, definitely reporting from the apocalypse. Apocalypse. Everyone have a blessed day and be grateful.